Hey y'all, welcome back to Travel Time. I'm Pete. And I'm Stacy. Have you ever been camping in a small camper and feel the clutter stresses you out? It gets you to where you can't enjoy your camping trip? If that's you, which like me, I can't stand being all cluttered. I can't stand seeing everything all over the camper. So we're gonna show you guys a couple of tips, a couple of ways we keep our camper organized. So, some you'd like to see, stay tuned. storage areas that we have in this small camper and then I'll go through and show you what we added to help secure our stuff. We have our overhead shelves that we usually fold up our blankets and we stick up here or if we take flat pans I'll slide them and put them up here and it keep, has a lip to keep it from sliding when we're moving. Under this bench we have an under under compartment that we put all of our outdoor games and I and our charcoal and I also brought my crock pot hey guys I also wanted to add to Stacy's comment about the upper storage I've over the years I've pretty much take my lunch so I have an EDC I call it my EDC lunch bag which has everything I could possibly need in it when I'm going somewhere it has my brush it has teeth cleaning items it has my e-cig juice it has so it will go up there as well and it stores pretty much everything i can need in a little tight compartment it's perfect for stuff like this sorry for cutting in okay and under under our tv we have these double cabinets which pete stores his little box with his tools his little extra tools we have a couple of games he has his out his um what do you call that? Your Bose speaker? Mm hmm And then he has his grill. And then over here we have, I guess they call it a wardrobe cabinet, cabinet, but, because it has little hangers where you can hang shirts and stuff, but I turned it into where we could store our coffee pot and food and our tablecloth and oh. our outdoor Be careful when you bend our like kitchen that. utensils. Under our sink and stove, we have cabinets, and I decided to store like all of our bug spray, our lighter fluid, our citronella candles, trash bags, cleaning supplies, extra command strips, which become your best friend. And then I have my utensil drawer over here that I keep all my utensils in. Then I have one more drawer under here that I keep um, plastic bags, foil, and uh, pot holders and hand towels. And overhead, we have this cool little compartment where we keep, I keep my pot, and I keep my cups and plates and bowls. Makes it where it's easy to access. Ex makes it easy to get to. And then in our bathroom, they give us a little storage cabinet under here where I store our towels and our shampoo and toilet paper and then the chemicals for the toilet. And then we have the compartment over here, which I, I love the corner cabinet. You're not hitting your head on it. When you're taking a dump. <laughs> and I keep all of our hairbrush and toothbrush and toothpaste and wet wipes and everything up in here. Which I plan on getting some little baskets to keep everything from sliding back and forth. When you're taking a grumpy. 
overhead where our bed is is a shelf and that's when we get to where we're gone that's where we fold and put our clothes that way we're not having to use the cabinet it's just easier hey guys so this is my part i get to do this area right here this is our pass-through storage but if you do notice you actually got quite a bit of room but i like to keep everything in storage bins i separate the bins with what we need so i got my water i got my lighting kit for when we're at the campsite i have my electrical bin over there where it's got all my electrical stuff we got our chairs uh i put my oh weight distribution items in here we got our pretty much we got everything we need this part my part of it i showed you the uh the uh, toolbox that we have on the front which was really nice for hike to do I store some things in there but the reason I love these bins I worked on electrical I'm a journeyman electrician by trade I worked on electrical truck when I was an apprentice and my job for my journeyman was to keep the, the truck organized the van organized I mean we had it where if you needed a red B cap we knew exactly we had yellow we had everything separated from conduit connectors everything but what I hated was when we worked jobs where we were working with other vans and they had send the helpers that's what we were to go get parts and we would have to tear out everything in their van just to get to something because they didn't organize it so I'm a very organized person I like to be organized I like to have my stuff and know where it's at whether it's my tool pouch back in the day to my camper today, my shit going to be organized and I'm going to have it where if I need it, I can just pull out one of these bins and we having some fun. So that's pretty much this. If you guys have any ideas or, you know, ways that you guys organize for a smaller camper, this one's 20 foot or a class B van, uh, let us know down in the comments below. Also down in the comments below, if you, uh, ever farted and blamed it on somebody else go ahead and give me a hell yeah <laughs> okay um, now i'm going to show you the items that we have added to help with our organization in our camper we bought two of these little linen hanging organizers i got them on amazon for like 10 bucks i believe that way we can hang put our phones and keys and pete puts his rings and stuff in there we have one here and then we have one over here next to the bed that he can get to easily and we just hung them with the velcro command hooks up here in the cabinet i bought these little storage bins i think i got them like at the dollar tree that way i could put like our cups and stuff in there to keep them from rolling around and i also bought these shelf liners and they're kind of rubbery and they really help with keeping stuff from sliding so it, when we're moving it's not sliding all over the place I also have a couple of those storage bins in here to put like our koozies and cup towels and I have one for our snacks and I also have some of that rubber liner in here to help keep our coffee pot stable which is also a new purchase. Get that off the Amazon. And then one of the best items we've bought are these footstools. We got them. We're stretched out on the dinette, watching TV in, at night. Um, we have some to prop our feet up on. But these are neat because you can take the lid off and store stuff in them. You can put shoes, blankets, whatever you want in there. And also, if you wanted to, you could also flip these lids over and use another little tabletop. And then over here, this was Pete's idea. Um, we just got one of those little plastic um, pen holders. And we used the command strips to Velcro it here so that we could put our remotes in here to keep them sliding everywhere. Okay, guys. It looks like we're going to end this video uh, with some tricks and some things we learned. Uh, first thing we've learned is to get tools that you can have 
that do multiple purposes, you know, like a multi-tool. So if you got a pair of clines and you need to drive a stake in, you don't have a pair of clines and a hammer, you got your pair of clines. Whatever, stuff like that just makes it easier. You know, store things in bags. We love storing our stuff in backpacks. We keep them up under this table right here. Or, like we said, we keep a bunch of stuff up here. Like she said, the number one thing we've learned that we really cannot live without are those, what strips? Command strips. Command strips. I tried to use uh, the Velcro strips that I have, but the adhesive on the back will peel stuff up. You don't want to use that. Use the command strips. We love them. Um, like she said, if you guys have any suggestions you have for us, you know, let us know down in the comments. So basically recap, keep things in bags, try to keep things put away. That's the biggest key we found that we love is if you use it. If I pull a lens out of my camera bag and I uh, have another one out, I put it up. We put everything away as we go. That way when it's time to sit down at the end of the day to uh, kiss your face or watch some TV, whichever, we don't have a bunch of clutter. So um, that's pretty much the wrap on this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. We are working on getting better. We're trying to get there. So, you know, give us some time. We will. Um, but always remember, live, laugh, and most importantly, love. Love. <laughs> Later.